हरे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर थारी गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर वन चारे यमुना तीर वन चारे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर धारे यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रज जन रंजन यमुना तीर वन चारे यमुना तीर वन चारे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारे जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद प्रभु पद जय प्रभु पद प्रभु पद प्रभु पद प्रभु पद जय जय प्रभु पद श्री श्री राधा माधव की श्रील प्रभुपात की 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो वी आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर फोर्टी वन चैप्टर नेम कृष्ण एंड बलराम एंडर मथुरा वर्स नंबर फ्रॉम नाइन टू सेवेंटीन सो आई विल रीड द वर्स फ्रॉम नाइन टू सिक्सटीन एंड देन वी कैन टुगेदर रिपीट द वर्सेज फ्रॉम सेवेंटीन सो लेट मी रीड द वर्सेज वर्स नाइन तान समतिया भगवान अक्रूरम जगदीश्वर गृहत्व पानी ना पानी प्राश्रित प्रसहन इव आफ्टर जॉइनिंग नंद एंड अदर्स द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड कृष्णा द कंट्रोलर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स took humble akrura's hand in his own and smiling spoke as follows bhavan pravisatam agre sahayanah purim griham vayam tav iha avamuchyatha tato diksha mahe purim lord krishna said take the chariot and enter the city ahead of us then go home after resting here a while we will go to see the city shri akrura uvacha नाहम भव अद्भयाम रहिता प्रवेक्षया मथुरा प्रभु त्यक् नारहसी माम नाथ भक्त ते भक्तवत्सल श्री अक्रूरा सैड ओ मास्टर विदाउट द टू ऑफ यू हाई आई शैल नॉट एंटर मथुरा आई एम योर डिवोटी योर लॉर्ड सो इट इज नॉट फेयर फॉर यू टू अबेंडन मी सिंस यू आर ऑलवेज अफेक्शनेट टू योर डिवोटेज आगछयाम गेहा न सनाथन कुरवदोक्सज सागरज स गोपाल सूर्दीश सुरोत्तमा कम लेट एस गो टू माई हाउस विद योर एल्डर ब्रदर द काउ हड मैन एंड योर कंपेनियंस ओ बेस्ट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स ओ ट्रांसडेंट लॉर्ड इन दिस वे प्लीज ग्रेस माय हाउस विद इट्स मास्टर पुनि पादरज स ग्रहानो ग्रह मे दीना यछनाप्यंती पितर साग्न सुर I am simply an ordinary householder attached to ritual sacrifices. So please purify my home with the dust of your lotus feet. By that act of purification, my forefathers, the sacrificial fires, and the demigods will all become satisfied. Avajinyangri yugalam, asit shlokya balir mahan, Ashwarya matulam lebe, gatim chay kan ti nam tu ya. by bathing your feet the exalted bali maharaj attained not only glorious fame and unequaled power but also the final destination of pure devotees apaste angri avajena nahas trilokan suchayo punan sura sadhataya sarvah swaryatah sagaratmaja the water of the river ganges has purified the three worlds having become transcendental by bathing your feet Lord Shiva accepted that water on his head and by that water's grace the sons of king Sagara attained to heaven Deva Deva Jagannath Punya Shravana Kirtana Yaduttama Uttamana Shloka Narayano Namastute O Lord of Lords Master of the universe O you whose glory is most pious to hear and chant O best of the yadus O you whose fame is recounted in excellent poetry O Supreme Lord Narayan, I offer you my obeisances. So, this verse we will repeat together. So you can repeat after me. Shri Bhagavan Uvacha, Ayashe Bhavato Geham, Aham Arya Saman Vitaha, Yadu Chakra Durhum Hatva. वितिर से सुरत प्रियम श्री भगवान उवाच आयासे भवतो गेहम अहम आर्य समन्वितुचक्र ध्रुहम हवा वितिर से सुरत प्रियम श्री भगवान उवाच 
आयसे भवतो गेहम अहम आर्य समन्वित यदुचक्रद्रुहम हत्वा वितिर से सुरत प्रिय to what word to word meaning shri bhagavan uvacha the supreme lord said ayase welcome bhavatah to your geham house aham i arya by my elder brother balram samanvitah accompanied यदुचक्र ऑफ द सर्कल ऑफ यदुज ध्रुहम द एनिमी कंस हत्वा किलिंग वितर से आई विल ग्रैंड सुहृत टू माई वेल विशर्स प्रियम सैटिस्फैक्शन ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपर्ट बाय द फॉलोअर्स ऑफ शिल प्रभुपद ट्रांसलेशन द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सैड I will come to your house with my elder brother but first I must satisfy my friends and well-wishers by killing the enemy of the Yadu clan purport Akrura glorified Krishna in text 16 as Yadu Uttama the best of the Yadus Shri Krishna here confirms this by saying in fact since I am the best of the Yadus I must kill the enemy of the Yadus Kamsa and then and then I will come to your house ओम ज्ञानतिमरा ज्ञानंजना शलाखया चक्षुरुन्मीता येना तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतनमनोभीष्ट स्थित ये नूतले स्वयं कदाम ददा स्वदाक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रेयुतापदकमल श्रीगुरून वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात स गना रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साधत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधाकृष्णपाद सह घन ललिता श्री विशाखान्वता नमा ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रेमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे नमो महावदानाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य 
नामने गौरदेव से नम हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु भय एव पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Puri. He was taking the darshan of the Lord. And when he saw Lord Jagannath, he wanted to embrace the deity. And he wanted to jump on the altar and wanted to embrace the deity. So, but he was so overwhelmed this, with this ecstasy that he fainted and lost his consciousness. When he woke up, and then he realized that if this ecstasy i can't control then i will commit some offense so i won't take darshan from the altar i'll stand very far behind at the garuda stump and take darshan of the lord and this is what the lord used to do throughout his presence in jagannath puri taking darshan from the garuda stump so that he avoid committing offenses now we all know once uh, mataji from odisha she wanted to have darshan of the lord and the crowd was like like our temple only difficult to see the lord sometimes but she was not able to have the darshan of the lord so what she did she was next to the garuda stump she climbed on the garuda stump and then put one of her feet on chitan mahaprabhu just to take darshan of lord jagannath so this is an offense right prabhupad also says that this is offense to climb on garuda stump who is the servant of the lord and to <laughs> put your feet on the lord itself when govind the servant of the lord sees that he brings that woman on oh come down come down what are you doing you are committing offenses but mahaprabhu chastised govinda and said o oh, adivasya uncivilized man do not forbid this woman to climb the garuda stump let her see jagannath to her satisfaction and then mahaprabhu said that your eagerness is wonderful Lord Jagannath has bestowed so much eagerness upon you. He has not bestowed any eagerness in me. So, I pray at your feet that please be give some mercy of yours. So, although this woman was committing mistake, like committing offence, Lord was glorifying her. So sometimes it's confusing. Let like how to understand this? He himself is avoiding committing mistake and is standing at the Garuda stump, but when the lady. climb on garuda climb on the lord he appreciated that so similarly we hear that we should enter vrindavan in the mood of akrura to enter vrindavan and the vrajvasis are cursing akrura they say like once in probhad leela also when probhad was sick in his final days uh, he was not feeling well so tamal krishna maharaj advised let we can go to the west the devotees will be very glad to have your darshan and this will give you some energy and prabhupad was thinking on that and bhagat ji was also there and prabhupad asked the suggestion of bhagat ji bhagat ji what do you think should i go to the west and he was so morose bhagat ji like he is sick he can't move and tamal krishna maharaj want to take him and he said no one should recommend traveling from vrindavan in this condition i think tamal krishna maharaj is more cruel than akrura So Akrura is labeled as a cruel one. It said that your name is Akrura means Akrur means not cruel, but you are cruel number one. The gopis they say Akrura, you are Kamsa Chamcha. You are following his orders and taking Krishna from us. So everyone was chastising Akrura like anything. And uh, Akrura also, like Prabhupad mentions in the purport of Bhagavatam, that he did some commit some offences. That's why. he had to spend some time in varanasi 
a time which was not mentioned, but he was in Varanasi due to that offense. So how we can understand these pastimes of the Lord? Because everyone says we should enter the mood of Akrura, who is taking away Krishna from Vrindavan. And, uh, and these Vrajvasis are cursing. So Prabhupada says that this Krishna Leela, or like, Krishna is inconceivable. If you try to limit, as per your understanding, it will be difficult to understand Krishna. So you have to accept that Krishna is inconceivable. Only then you can understand Krishna. So we all know that Akrura stava abhivandane. Akrura attains success just by doing vandanam, by doing the prayers. Because many of the yadus, the, some of them left when Kamsa came into the power. He was harassing everyone. He put Devki and Vasudev in the jail. And uh, some stayed back. And one of them was Akrura. So Akrura was behind. And Prabhupada says that it's, it's for various purposes. Because Akrura knew that Krishna will be coming to kill Kamsa. He's the eighth son of Devaki. And if I stay around Kamsa, I will be able to have some darshan of these pastimes. So he never left Kamsa. He was in this association only, trying to please Kamsa somewhere or other so that he can see these pastimes. But when Kamsa ordered, go and bring Krishna Balram, because he sent many of his demons, his, uh, what we say, friends, to kill Krishna Balram. And all of them came back, defeated or killed. So Akrura said, I'm oh, sorry, Kamsa said, Akrura, you must go. And I'm arranging a sacrificial arena and I'm also having a wrestling match. Bring Krishna Balram, say Nanda Baba to come and visit me. So he was not happy when he was chosen to bring Krishna to get killed. But he knew that Krishna is Supreme Personality of Godhead and he will kill Kamsa. Nothing will happen to him. But still, if I do that, the devotees of Vrindavan, they will curse me like anything. But what to do? This is the will of the Lord. If I don't do that, Kamsa is torturing Devki and Vasudev like anything. And they won't be bereft of this misery. So I have to bring Krishna, even though it's a thankless task. So Akrura went on the chariot. And Kamsa gave a brand new chariot to Akrura. Take this chariot. It's a brand new one. All of gold plated and jewels and everything. So Kamsa thought that this Krishna and Balram, they are village boys. If they see such a beautiful chariot, they will easily climb on and they will come to me. It's like if you send a Mercedes or fancy car in the village, they all want to go in and have a ride. Similarly, Kamsa thought of Krishna Balram like that. But Akrura took that chariot with not that intention. That chariot was very beautiful, but it was unused. So that's why he took that chariot, because he never wanted to have the personality of Godhead, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, mounted on a chariot that had already been enjoyed by the wicked Kamsa. That's why he took that chariot. So he took that chariot and he arrived. So he, while coming, he was thinking that, how will Krishna reciprocate with me? And he said that Krishna, I, he knows that I am his devotee. He will appreciate and he will hug, embrace me and take to his quarters. And he was imagining. So when he entered Vrindavan, he saw dust of Vrindavan. And in the dust, he saw the footprints of Krishna. And how he was able to recognize that? Because we know the symbols which are there on the feet of Krishna. Thunderbolt, this, what we say, uh, the, the way we control the elephant. Like, do, yeah, something, and then Mary grains and something like that, the symbols. And when he saw that footprints, he lost his consciousness. He just jumped, dandavat, directly on his face on the ground. And then he rolled on the ground. And he rolled on the ground. He, he then thought that, I'm on a golden chariot, so nicely dressed, why should I <laughs> do dandavat on the ground? We sometimes see now that devotees are in heavy, new matka silk. And when they do the pranam, doing the festival, like this. But Akrura, he never thought like that. He was just mesmerized by seeing the footprint. And he just jumped. That's why this spirit of Akrura, when he entered Vrindavan, is glorified. And that's why Prabhupada says, you should enter Vrindavan in the mood of Akrura. That spirit he is talking about. And Krishna also accepted Akrura. 
he was taking him from Vrajvasis, but he accepted him. And we can see that when Krishna, when Akrura reached, his hands were holded twice. First by Balram and second by, second time by Krishna. In verse number 38-37, when Akrura reached, Shankarsanascha pranatam upaguya mahamanaha grihitva pani na pani anyatsana jograham as Akrura stood with his head bowed, Lord Sankarshan, Balram, grasped his joined hands. And then Balram took him to his house in the company of Lord Krishna. So he was welcomed. So he was taken away, he was welcomed. And then Supreme Lord, the verse that we read, verse number 9. Tan samit yaha bhagavan akruram jagadeshwara grihitva pani na pani prashritam prahasam iva. After joining Nanda and others, the Supreme Lord Krishna, the controller of the universe took humble Akrura's hand in his own hand and smiling spoke as follows. So like that Akrura was accepted and he was brought in the room and Krishna and Balram were present and they inquired from Akrura what was the situation and he said this Kamsa is torturing like anything, he's torturing your parents, you must come and he's planned to kill you and when he <laughs> Balram heard he's planning to kill us. He was laughing like anything. Oh, he's going to kill us? Okay, and like this. He's going to kill us? How? Oh, he's assembled powerful wrestlers. Oh, he has assembled powerful wrestlers. How fat they are? He was mocking. How fat they are? Tell me. What's the plan for Krishna? Are they more fat than my wrestlers? So like that, they were having fun. And Krishna slapped his thighs. Oh, wrestlers? It will be fun. He was having fun like that. And Balram... And when they heard like, oh, there was other arrangement. He said, oh, they have kept a very great Kuvalaya elephant to kill Krishna. And they both stood together, elephant. They were like excited to go there. They were not scared and like that anything. So they were having fun. And then Nanda Baba entered. And then we all know how he was taken the next day from Vrindavan. So interesting part is this. We have all heard that Krishna never leaves Vrindavan, right? We have all that understanding. But Acharyas, like Rupa Goswami says, Krishna comes back to Vrindavan. He goes and he comes back. Because Krishna makes the promise. Ayase bhavato geham. Just like Krishna promises. Whom? Akrura. Akrura says, please come to my house, make it auspicious. You are the inconceivable Lord, please come to my house. I am a Grahamedi. Like that. Krishna says, yes, I will come in this verse, 17 verse. I say bhavato geham. And then Krishna really comes. In, we, we are in chapter 48. After, Krishna's, after Krishna takes the training in Sandipuni Muni, when he comes back, he visits Akrura. And it said, one of the devotees was mentioning in his class that, when Akrura heard that Krishna is going to come, he was preparing for the Krishna's arrival. And we never see the we never uh, see the description of Akrura in any of the past times. He was so busy in preparing that the Lord is going to come. And when the Lord came, Akrura Bhavanam Krishna Sarama Udava Prabhu Kenche Chikarshayan Pragad Akrura Priya Kamaya. Lord Krishna, wanting to have some things done, went to Akrura's house with Balram and Uddhava. The Lord is also desired to please Akrura. So the Lord kept his promise to go to Akrura's house. So won't he keep promise to his Vrajvasis? Because he promised three times to Vrajvasis. And uh, Akrura also mentions like, when Krishna says, oh, please you go ahead, I will come later. Akrura was very like disappointed. He says, Tyaktum narasi maam natha bhaktam te bhakta vatsala. You are bhakta vatsal. I am your devotee. It's not fair that you are abandoning me. You are, don't abandon me. He made Vrajvasis get abandoned. Now he is saying, please don't abandon me. So is he favorable to only Akrura? He is not favorable to Vrajvasis? Is that the thing? Because when Krishna left, if we hear the situation, we might cry also. It said, the intensity was so much, whenever this pastime was repeated in Vrindavan, how Krishna was taken, the rocks used to cry out. The woods, the dry woods used to shed tears. And thunderbolts used to shatter. That's the situation. When Krishna was leaving, by hearing this, Radharani was like so much disrupted. She became mad in separation. She experienced great mental pain and agitation. 
and she said now i'm going to die really i'm going to die and when krishna and when krishna hears that i am dead he will surely come back but then she was confused oh but when krishna comes back that i am dead then what will happen to krishna so i won't die so this is the bhav of chinta anxiety which was which she was experiencing mother yashoda was weeping like anything but somehow or other she thought that akrura is a son of a sage and my husband is there they will bring back krishna so there is no need to fear she was somehow trying to santana mein de rahe the khud ko ki okay nothing will bad will happen and she said please take krishna and bring him as it is no harm should be happening to him hand over to me when he comes back as soon as possible but one of the ladies she got very angry when she saw you should have doing that she said oh merciless fool after placing your only son in the jaws of a tiger tiger means nand baba and akrura how can you enter alone in your empty home how can you go back to your house which is not where krishna is not present so like that was the experience of the rajwasis they were like devastated like anything so we can also experience that it's mentioned in ujwala niramani that viraha are three types bhavi viraha bhuta viraha and bhavan viraha so when akrura came to vraj bhumi to take away krishna he has not taken away krishna but that rumors were spreading krishna is going to go when gopis heard that they immediately started feeling separation oh krishna is going krishna is going they felt that separation so this separation is called bhavi viraha then when krishna was krishna left vrindavan and after few days still they were feeling that separation that separation after krishna left after few days that's called bhuta viraha after the thing which has happened then when krishna was being taken away by akrura when he was taking them it's is mentioned like when a eagle steals away the bird name is mentioned like kurari birds eagle are very uh, what we say good in stealing the kurari birds they still like anything we have seen in discovery how the eagle they attack similarly akrura is taking krishna their life and everything and how can we survive let us give our body here let us give up our body here in front of the wheels because if krishna goes what will happen and we all know how these gopis were hiding their love for krishna right they were never in public expressing their love for krishna but when this situation arised they kept that shyness at a distance it's mentioned no shyness openly krishna where are you going hey madhava don't leave us they were prepared to die in front of the will they were not fearful oh what will my husband think what will my brother will think what will my father will think they left their shyness because they were thinking if we somehow other hold krishna in vrindavan although we were not we will not be able to see krishna because we will be <laughs> uh, what we say door locked in the room but still we will be feeling the real that still krishna is in our village that will give us such relief so we are not afraid let not krishna go so this was a situation so will krishna he is mentioned as bhaktvatsala keep his devotees like that will he not take care of them so rup go so me clarifies this in his lagu bhagavat amrita he says that vraja prakata lilayam trin masan viraho muna तत्रापि अजानी विस्फुरति प्रादुर्भव उपमा हरि त्रिमास्य परतस्ते सम साक्षात कृष्णने संगति कृष्णा कम्स बैक आफ्टर 3 मंथ्स ही सेज एंड दिस वर्ड व्हिच ही यूजेस संगति ही लेबल इट एज लाइक ही अपीयर्स और ही रिटर्न्स देन ही गिव्स अ वेरी ब्रीफ और वी से इलैबोरेट एक्सप्लेनेशन हाउ कृष्णा कम्स बैक थ्रू ही एक्सप्लेन्स लाइक दिस दैट कृष्णा प्रॉमिस्ड three times i will come back the way he promised once to akrura he will come back he promised three times first he promised to gopis ayas se ati i am going but i will come back please don't panic and then ishamo vidhaya suridam sukham after killing comes he promised nanda maharaj i will come back i will come back you go ahead i will come back then again in the letter of uddhava आगमस्यस्ति अधिर्गेना कालेन व्रजमच्छुत प्रियम विदासते प्रीतिर भगवान सात्वतम पति तो भगवान इस सात्वम सात्वतम पति लाइक ही इज वैल्यूशन ऑफ इज डिवोटीज तो ही वोट अबेंडन यू ही विल कम वेरी सोन सो सो मेनी प्रोमिसेस वोट ही कम बैक यस ही विल कम बैक 
But there is no description of this that Krishna comes back. But Rupa Goswami says, yes, it is mentioned in, in the first canto, chapter 11, verse number 9. But the Dwarkavasi is, is saying this verse. Yarhi ambuja kaas apsara bhavo bhavan kurun madhun vatha surat didikshaya tatrabda koti prati mahashano bhavet ravim vinakshnor ivana achyuta O lotus-eyed lord, whenever you go away to Mathura, Vrindavan or Hastinapur to meet your friends and relatives, every moment of your absence seems like a million years. O infallible one, at that time our eyes become useless as if bereft of the sun. So Rupa Goswami is explaining here that the Dwarka Vasis were speaking this verse. We all know Krishna took all the Mathura Vasis to Dwarka because Jarasan was attacking like anything many times. He was not giving up. So he arranged for all his well-wishers, his friends and he took them to uh, Dwarka. And this is where this verse was spoken. So when this verse was spoken, Dwarka Vasis were there and all his friends and relatives were also present. So, which friends and relatives is Sukhadev Goswami talking about here? There are no friends and relatives in Mathura. So, which Mathura are we talking about? So, now he explains the meaning of this word Madhun. So, Madhun means Vrindavan in Mathura. It doesn't mean Mathura. Because there are no friends and relatives left in Mathura. So, when Krishna is mentioned, when Krishna went from Vrindavan to Mathura, he went back to Vrindavan. He went back after three months to take their darshan, to give them some santavna, to embrace them, to spend time with them. He never abandoned them. And this is also supported by Shridha Swami. Goswami, Swami. He says that, yes, the Madhun refers to the residence of Rindavan, which is, stated, or it is situated in the district of Mathura. It's not Mathura. So this is how he supports the claim that Krishna went back to Rindavan. He was ne never there. And then they give one more argument like Rupa Goswami and Jiva Goswami, they quote Uddhava. Uddhava is promised in the letter, like he's saying, Krishna will come back. And we all know, Konteya Pratijani hi Name Bhakta Pranasyati. So he will never make his Uddhava, his dear most friend, famous as a liar. He might accept him as a liar, but he will never allow Uddhava to lie. So when Uddhava said, yes, Krishna will come back, means Krishna will fulfill that promise. So Krishna is fulfilling that promise that he goes back to Vrindavan. And this is how we understand by mercy of Rupa Goswami, that Krishna comes back. Because yes, Krishna is wonderful. He is not only like grateful, gentle, he is truthful also, he is compassionate. And Krishna didn't, uh, what we say, come to Vrindavan, return Vrindavan, because what will people say about me? Oh, I should be a moralist. He is not worried about his reputation. One of the quality of Krishna is Prema Vasya, like Prema Vasya. Love controls Krishna. We might have heard that statement that Prabhupada says that by your devotional service, you can carry Krishna in your pocket by the strength of your devotional service. So this is what attracts Krishna, devotional service. And there is no one more devoted than the Vrajvasis. We all know that in uh, Madhuyaras, there are two categories. Paraki and Swakiya. Swakiya means the queens of Dwarka. So, when, when someone is married, the wife can claim, Oh, this is my husband. So, he should come to me only. There is a, what we say, claim to that. And that's why they can take things for a little bit granted. But gopis, they can't claim like that. So, they are always aware that Krishna should not go away from us. So, they are always conscious to please Krishna whenever they get a chance. They never miss the chance. They never think that Krishna will come back to them. They are always afraid that Krishna might go any moment. So they are always so much absorbed in serving Him. Nothing else. They never think for granted. So that's why this uh, Parakya Aras is higher compared to the Swakya Aras. Because there is more love. And the more love is present, the more Krishna gets controlled. That's why Krishna says, I can give you liberation, but I won't give you bhakti. Why? Because if I give you bhakti, I will be captured by you. I will be captured by you. And this is what we must ask for. Devotional service. What else we have in our life? What else we have in our life? More auspicious than devotional service. We say Mangal Arti. The best thing to start your day with. Mangal. Auspiciousness. 
So devotional service brings auspiciousness, otherwise this material world is inauspicious itself. So by bringing devotional service in our life, in our activities, everything becomes, in, everything becomes auspicious. And then Krishna expands because we you know, all know just like in the starting people said, oh just chant Hare Krishna, only one round. They never said you have to chant 16 rounds. They never said that you have to chant minimum 16 rounds. We, came, we realized that later. Then they said, oh, Kanti Mala, it's very good. Wear this Kanti Mala. We have to follow this, some, some principles. Okay, what are the principles? No meat eating, no intoxication, no illicit, no gambling, no gaming also, because gaming involves gambling. So we get like Krishna expands in our life. This is what Krishna likes. Krishna doesn't see what you're offering to him. Krishna sees what you're holding back. Krishna wants that part only. More and more from you. And the more we give, the more Krishna comes. As you surrender, Krishna reciprocates. But due to our situation or our conditioning, we don't surrender even after listening, even after experiencing. There's a nice analogy given, just like the situation of a neophyte. And we can understand from that, just like some of this devotee is on the terrace of our temple. And he's trying to clean the railing. Okay. Somehow he slipped his leg and he's holding on the railing. And he can fall down and can break his legs and head. So he's calling, oh Krishna, please help me. He's about to fall, he's crying like anything, Krishna, help me. And when he cried with all his heart, Krishna came, oh, I'm here. Leave the hand, I will hold you. I will catch you. Sarva dharman pratijya ma mekam sharanam vaja aham tvam, aham tvam sarva papeyo moksha shami ma sucha Do not fear, I will hold you. But Prabhuji is thinking, are you sure you will hold me? Are you sure? Are you sure? And he says, oh yes, ma sucha. I promise so many times I will take care of you. Bhakti nama pranasyati. Nothing happens to my devotees. Why are you afraid of? Leave. But still he is not leaving and he says, can't you hold me first and then I will leave my hand. Can't you hold me first, then I will leave my hand. So we are not having that faith. But Krishna is again and coming, coming in our life and trying to explain that I am taking care of you. And by listening to these pastimes, we can be assured that Krishna is taking care of his devotees. He is Bhaktivatsala. This word is not just mentioned for namesake. He is Bhaktivatsala. He is taking care of devotees. And by getting absorbed in serving him, by being dependent for his shelter, that's very much important. Because when you are helpless, whom, whom you go for, the one you are dependent on. So we are dependent on our money, we are dependent on our relatives, we are dependent on so many things. But if we are dependent on these things, we won't be able to remember Krishna when we are helpless. We'll remember these things. Oh, my parents, oh, please take care of me. Oh, my wife. Oh, my bank balance. But if you're not developing this dependency on Krishna, Ante Kale Narayan Smriti won't come. It's not so easy to remember Krishna. You have to create dependency on Krishna. And how you will create? By practicing that. It's not just words, lip service. You have to practice in your life. And how will you practice? By seeing others, how they're dependent on Krishna. By listening, how these devotees are dependent on Krishna. How seeing Srila Prabhupada, how he was dependent on Krishna. Cent per cent. This will inspire us to become dependent on Krishna. And only then, we can remember Krishna at the time whenever we leave our body. That's the only way. There is no other way. So, thank you. Any questions or any comments? Thank you. 
I can relate to your situation. Today in the morning only, I was offering pranam to Srila Prabhupada and one devotee, not Dhoti Gurta, just kicked me on my head and I felt a sound, ting, my teeth got like <laughs> clicked when he kicked on my head. But it, it happens. They are excited because they are never every day present here. They are excited to see Srila Prabhupada, Samadhi Arati. They are so much excited that we should allow them. Devotees are more generous. Okay, I have got all the mercy. Why should he not get the mercy? So they, okay. They are more tolerant due to this. So they are generous and they are tolerant. That's why, okay, let it pass. Let it pass. At least he is crying or he is excited for Krishna. That's auspicious. That's good thing. So there is nothing to complain for. And then again I came here, again someone kicked me. So this happened twice in the Mangalarji time. But second time I was very little bit upset. I said, okay, Prabhuji, <laughs> go, no problem. We try to ignore that. Because everyone is, when they come here, here they are amazed. Wow! We are seeing it every day. But when a person comes for the first time, he is amazed. So, we can forgive these I'm things. Devotees also. Are are so, within the, within the community also, we all know that we are all in hospitals, trying to cure ourselves from the material things. So, some are nicely cured, some are advancing slowly, slowly. So, those who are nicely cured, they help others who are getting cured. They support them. This is what the Madhya Madhya does. He supports others. Okay, no problem. He is merciful to the ignorant. He is merciful to the ignorant. So, he tolerates. Because if you are pure, then you should advance the other person by your purity. That is easy. It's easy to judge and find faults. It's very easy. He said, nah, this Kali Yuga is ocean of faults. Eka Mahat Guna. Chanting of Hare Krishna. So, this person is chanting Hare Krishna, so that one guna he has. So, ocean of faults, not important. So, we can forgive that. That should be the mood of a Vaishnava. I don't have that mood, but still, we can remember this and try to practice it. And by practice, this will be our nature then. This will be our nature. So, that's the explanation from my side. I hope it satisfies you all <laughs> what to do. Because there is no point in finding faults. We have to accept that. We have to accept that. Yes, yes, bro. Yes, Prabhu. You're right. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. Thank you very much. Srimad Bhagavatam ki, Shwela Prabhupada ki, Samastha Bhakta Vrinda ki jai, Nitai Gaur Premanande, Hari Hari.